Number one, we are asked to round the same number to different significant figures. Let's start with part A. Part A wants this number rounded to two significant figures. So we would stop at the three, then look at the number to the right of three to see if we need to round up or down. Since nine is greater than five, we must round up to 14. The correct answer is 14. Part B wants this number rounded to three significant figures. So we would stop at the nine. Next, look at the number to the right of nine, which is five, and we will round up to 14.0. We cannot just leave this as 14, since that would have just been two sig figs. So that's why we have to include the zero here to make this have three sig figs. Moving on to part C. For part C, we will round this to four significant figures. So we would stop at the five. And since the number next to this is greater than five, we will round up to 13.96. And finally, part D wants this number rounded to five significant figures. So we would stop at the seven and round down or really just leave the number as is since the number to the right of seven is less than five. Our answer here would be 13.957. Number two, we are asked to identify how many significant figures are in the following numbers. To do this, we will be using our significant figure rules. Part A follows rule two, where all zeros in the middle of non-zero numbers count as sig figs. So all these numbers count as significant, so there are five sig figs. Part B follows rule five, where all leading zeros do not count as sig figs, so we only have one sig fig. Part C follows rule four, where all coefficients in scientific notation count as sig figs, so only the eight counts. There is only one sig fig. Part D follows rule three, where any zeros after the decimal count as sig figs, so all numbers count. There are four sig figs. Part E follows rule six, where any zeros within a number with no decimal do not count as sig figs, so only the eight counts. There's only one sig fig. 